Hi, I'm Kim with Woodland Scenics, and today I'm going to show you how to use Shaper Sheet. I'm going to show you how to shape your Shaper Sheet so that you can achieve any level of detail, as well as how to apply Shaper Sheet Plaster to give your terrain a strong, hard shell. The materials I'll be using are Shaper Sheet, and this is 18 inches wide, Shaper Sheet Plaster, some mixing bowls, a plaster brush, a spatula, scenic sprayer with water in it, and a pair of scissors. And when you're dealing with plasters and landscaping materials like this, I would recommend putting something down on your work area to help reduce the cleanup. To start off, I have a roll of 18 inch shaper sheet, and I'll just unroll it, like so. And this seems to be about the length that I need, so I'm going to cut it. Of course, you can cut it to any length you need. Now I'm going to shape the shaper sheet. Because it's strong and pliable, it holds its shape and can be manipulated and reshaped to create any level of detail. Each contour looks very natural. Next, we're going to mix the Shaper Sheet plaster according to package instructions so we can apply it to the terrain. Shaper Sheet plaster mechanically bonds with Shaper Sheet, giving it a permanent hard shell and locking the contours in place. I have mixing bowls here with measurements marked on the inside. I'll measure eight fluid ounces of Shaper Sheet plaster. Now I'm going to slowly add it to three fluid ounces of cold water, which I already have in this bowl. You don't have to follow these measurements exactly. Just make sure you mix roughly a two and a half to one ratio. Okay, now the plaster mix needs to sit for about two minutes to let the water soak. After the two minute wait is up, I need to mix the plaster for about another one to two minutes so the consistency is nice and smooth with no lumps. Okay, moving on. I'm going to spray the shaper sheet with water. This helps the bonding process between the shaper sheet and the plaster. Now you can pour the plaster directly onto the landscape. This plaster has about a 20 minute working time before it starts to set up. You can spread the plaster using a brush If you find that your plaster is too thin, you can always add more plaster to your mixture. Another way to give Shaper Sheet that hard shell is to use plaster cloth. Again, following instructions on the packaging, drag a sheet of plaster cloth through the water and carefully apply it to your Shaper Sheet. We suggest that it be overlapped by about half to help improve the overall strength of your shell. Now that the terrain is made, I need to let it dry for 24 hours. The terrain is dry, so let's add our landscaping. I've shown you how to create strong and permanent terrain using Shaper Sheet and Shaper Sheet Plaster. With Shaper Sheet, you also have the option to landscape directly onto the Shaper Sheet without plaster. Although it won't have a hard shell, as long as it doesn't have to bear any weight other than the landscaping, it will hold its contours very well. I've shown you how to create unique landscaping using our Shaper Sheet with a hard shell and without. Maybe you have a large area and need to combine multiple sheets of Shaper Sheet. I'm going to show you how to splice two pieces together. To do this, you have to peel the Shaper Sheet layers back to expose the sticky side of the sheet. Make sure you peel back both the fiber mesh and gauze backing. It's important to get a hold of both when peeling it back. You only need to pull back about a half an inch to an inch. Place the next sheet on top of the exposed foil like this. Now just cut off the excess mesh. There are countless techniques that can be applied to Shaper Sheet, so don't feel limited to what I've shown you. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information about our products or you'd like to see more how-to videos, visit us at woodlandscenics.com.